What's up, Draft Network? This is Keith Sanchez, here to bring you my top six quarterback rankings from day three of the Reese's Senior Bowl. To set the scene for today, this was a pretty windy day, and we were inside because we had inclement weather, and I will say this, it was an absolute improvement from day two to day three. All of the quarterbacks performed at a pretty high level but there's a clear separation between those guys who had the physical traits and those guys who didn't so i'm going to rank the guys started with number six through four and then i'm going to go into an in-depth ranking of one two and three so my rankings for the tier two group starts with sam howard number six then i have bailey zappy at number five then i have carson strong at number four like I said, all of these guys had pretty good days and they were able to deliver accurate throws. It just seemed that there were clear physical limitations as far as them pushing the ball down the field. Um, on balls that had to have been 20, 30, 40 yards down the field, the ball seemed to die a little bit. So I think all of these quarterbacks have the potential to be starters in the NFL. It just has to be in the right system. Starting with number three, I have Cincinnati Bearcat quarterback Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter showed good accuracy in the pocket. He showed good command. He was able to throw the ball in short to eat intermediate routes, and he was able to take good coaching from the coaching staff. I believe that Desmond Ritter really raised his draft stock today because he did what everybody thought that he would do, and that was just take command of the offense and just show that he's a true winner overall. Next at number two, I have Pittsburgh quarterback Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett really improved on his performance in day two where he really struggled. The rain seemed to really bother him and he just seemed out of whack overall. And coming into this senior bowl, we had this guy as number one, but he really didn't display that. But today you saw the true Kenny Pickett. This guy was able to work all levels of the field. He was able to deliver accurate passes and he was able to engage with his teammates. And that was something that I know that we had a big question about just because of how his mental temperament was. And people don't really know too much about him. So I think it was good to see him in a team atmosphere, watching deliver the ball and also take command of the offense so i have kenny pickett at number two which is a much improvement over yesterday's ranking from damian parsons who had him as his number six quarterback and at my number one spot i have quarterback from liberty malik willis coming into this we all knew that malik willis had a very strong arm it was just a matter of where did he put the football but today malik willis really showed that he can take coaching and be an accurate quarterback this was the first day that he looked really confident and he's fit the ball into tight windows. It was times when he fit the ball into double coverage and you can see after he threw the ball, he kind of nodded his head a little bit like, yeah, I got my swagger. And that was really fun for us. And also he was able to throw a nice touch pass on fade routes and get the ball right over the defender to the wide receiver, which was a beautiful thing to see from Malik Willis. And there's one thing that Malik Willis has that these other guys don't have. And that's the ability to pull the ball down when nothing's there and make a big play for the offense. So with all of these traits combined with his accuracy, his athleticism, ability to pull the ball down, and now that we really feel as though he found his swagger, I really believe that Malik Willis is gonna walk out of here as the number one quarterback. Thanks for watching. Let me know who your number one quarterback is, and remember to subscribe to the Draft Network all week long for more Senior Bowl coverage.